Hello, hello, hello to all of my Virgos and happy Sunday to each and every one of you all Virgos. Hopefully you all are having a great week setting your intentions. This is getting you prepared for the full moon in Scorpio. Yes, right now you are, um, there's, there's, everybody is pretty inspired to focus on their purpose and not other people's drama. Right. And so stay focused on your purpose, please, 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 because a moon in Scorpio, either you're going to land on the dark side or the bright side. Right. So you decide which side you want to land on. You'll know you'll notice energies that have landed on the bright side, including yourself. If you feel more imaginative, more determined, ambitious, emotional in a good way and idealistic on the dark side of the moon in Scorpio, more obstinate, secretive, jealous, resentful, domineering. Right. It's going to bring out a lot of people's true feelings, this full moon is. But this, the beautiful thing about that first quarter moon in Leo is that the, the sun, Leo is ruled by the sun. That sun actually illuminates the moon. So it's almost like you got a, you, you got a pre-test, like the actual test that's coming um, with this moon in Leo. Just kind of giving you an idea of like what your purpose is all the way down to what your demons are. And so getting an opportunity to kind of sort of see who couldn't control their emotions, um, you know, during this time, who was fired up, you know, it could have come through dreams. It could have come through face-to-face -face, um, interaction. It could have come through email, text message, third party. However, you got a chance to see that. Here we go. Page of Cups. So you are definitely heavy on some people's minds. You're definitely on, on people's minds. Here we have the Three of Swords. It's some people that really broke your heart and deeply disappointed you. Here we have the um, the, the chariot card. Um, we have the six of cups. We also have the ten of pentacles. And we have the two of pentacles. All right, Virgos, 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 Virgos. As an earth sign, a moon in Scorpio, a moon in Scorpio for you as an earth sign actually accentuates your managerial talents and capacity for uh, authority and leadership. So emotionally, you, you feel more creative. You know, you feel like, okay, I feel like I can do it. That's again why you want to stay focused. I'm saying victory over your feelings, victory. You're being rewarded for learning how to control your emotions, right? This is attached to cancer. Cancer is a water sign like Scorpio. You're an earth sign, right? And so this is where you have victory over your emotions. Like something from your past is, you know, someone from your past who, whether it's an ex who still loves you, family members who have agape love, you know, a lo well, whatever love, conditional love, um, or whatever they deem as love, you are heavy on people's minds. And there are some of those people you were like, mm -mm, I wouldn't let come back into my life even if I saw a pig fly through the sky and there it is with the wings. And you still would not let that energy come back across your path. So again, source is saying, move forward with childlike faith, you know, you have, um, energies that are trying to be in your life or right, trying to resurface. Right. And so these are energies that were deeply disappointing for you and, and broke your heart. Again, it could be family members, ex love interests, ex partners. I mean, ex business partners, ex romantic partners or whatever, because this is what you're headed towards. You're headed towards legacy wealth. Right. And so it's already in motion. So this is where the reward is coming from is that sources, again, for somebody it could be a partnership coming your way or an additional stream of income that's helping you to stay, to focus on this right here. What is your legacy, right? And so there's a lot of money attached to it. So this is why staying in your light is going to make all the difference in the world, you know, as we are coming towards this moon in Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. We are not talking about any Scorpios that you know. We're talking about the zodiac sign, Scorpio, right? And so, you know, we have questions on Sundays. This reading is for the 30th of April, even though it may show up on the on Saturday, but the 30th April through the 31st of May. All right, let's keep it moving forward. Let's keep it moving forward. Let's keep it moving forward. So like I said, you are heavy, heavy, heavy on some people's minds. And um, Source wants you to stay laser focused. Here we have the Queen of Swords, the Seven of Wands. We have the Lover's card. Like I said, business with somebody. Somebody's going into business. Here we have the Queen of Swords, the Lover's card, the Three of Swords, the Seven of Wands, the Five of Wands, and also the Page of Wands. And so you, you are able to defend your decision to not go backwards to something because of some people's demons, right? Whether you felt like, okay, 
you left me vulnerable. I felt unprotected in your presence. There was, you know, you know, around you, I felt, I felt so vulnerable. In fact, that I felt like I always had to take up, take up for myself. Like whatever their demons were, did not mix with yours. So if there was a need for you to feel protected or for somebody to speak up or be more assertive and they weren't, they didn't do it, you know, but instead they became enraged when you asked them to do something or because it was coming from you, they, they, all of a sudden the fire turned up when it came to you, but when it came to taking care of other things, they could not, they can't, couldn't let things go. They couldn't speak up. They couldn't do whatever. Bottom line is for you, it doesn't, it doesn't work for you. So here you go. Here we have the lover's card. Somebody is definitely moving towards twin flame energy. Um, you've already made a decision about some things. Like I said, victory is in your favor, but you've already made decisions about something as it relates to something from your past wanting to resurface either in love or business or both or family members or whatever. And you're moving forward, right? So three of uh, three of swords came out twice. Further reiterating, heartbreak, heartbreak, right? Deeply heartbreaking for somebody. The and so source wants you to stay on your throne. Here we have the Queen of Swords. Stay on your throne. Vet all the thoughts, include your private thoughts. Anybody who wants access to your universe, whether it's in your personal life or your professional life, you're saying, you know, I need to move forward. I need to move forward with something. Um and focus on my legacy. End of story. I'm focusing on my legacy. Like I said, you'll be able to defend your decision to move on forward without coming across as defensive. So what I see somebody doing, this this uh, first quarter moon in Leo is really inspiring somebody to just kind of just remember how hard you've worked on your legacy and be a little proud of that. Not pride as in arrogance. We're saying, you know, be motivated by the hard work you've already invested in it, keeping your vibrations high, making um, being at such a high frequency that you know exactly who would disrupt that legacy if you allowed it back in just even a little bit, right? You're not opening that door at all for them to even stick a finger in the door, let alone a toe in the door to come back in, you know? And so here we have the page of wands. So this is, um, this page energy is youthful energy. So youthful energy can be, you know, like sometimes people will use other people to come back in when they know that they have burned you. They'll try to use other people like their kids, a friend, a coworker at work, any, any way in to try to get through. But again, you know that the answer is no. Mm -mm. The answer is no, you've decided to move beyond something. So kudos and congratulations to you all for focusing on your legacy and your wealth. And your purpose here, what is your purpose here on earth for? That's what somebody is focusing on. What is my purpose? All that other stuff from the past. And because again, what would happen is because people are still battling their demons, Virgo, what would happen is that they will come back with some, first they'll warm up to you. Then it'll, then it's this full on blown argument about what you did to them. You've moved beyond that. You're at a higher frequency. Don't even entertain it. Don't even entertain it. You may even already be with your twin flame and it could be an ex trying to come back into a situation, trying to get something started, you know, talking about what you did today, still living in the past. Bottom line is that don't even entertain it. Don't even entertain it. Here we have the Hierophant card. Here we have the Strength card. Here we have the Chariot card. Here we have the Temperance card, the Five of Swords, and also the Devil card. Yeah. Somebody's demons are really getting the best of them. You know, somebody's demons are really, really getting the best of them. Somebody is starting to see that your legacy is very rich. Your legacy is, they don't understand the hard work and the, the energy that you put into your legacy. Like, if you were to transition today, your name would be remembered for X, Y, and Z. They don't know the blood, sweat, and tears you put behind, you know, into that legacy. All they going on or some, something that was said in the past. Like somebody is definitely stuck in the past. Here you are at a higher mind. You're at a higher mind and they're operating in their demons, right? You're at a higher mind and they're operating in their demons. And so you're like, mm -mm, I'm, I'm good. I, I'm good. So... Uh, you are just seeing things from a higher frequency. But again, you also have a guardian angel that's watching over you, protecting you through this entire process. Chariot car came out again. It could be somebody that you work with or somebody, you know, some kind of partnership 
um, whether it was in business or partnership and love. Bottom line is sources like you victorious on, on you know, both counts. It doesn't even really matter. You're victorious. So sources saying tap into your strength. Don't, you know, don't show any, you know, any signs of pride or arrogance or anything like that. If anything, you're going to be proud of how you were able to um, keep your peace and focus, laser focus on your purpose and additional stream of income. You're like, hey, you know what? I got stuff to do. I don't have any, I don't have a conversation for X, Y, and Z, you know, because again, even if you were to try to tell somebody why you are giving them no more access to your universe, they, instead of them sitting there listening and apologizing and being truly remorseful, they will come right back with something just low vibrational. So anyway, it's best for you to just keep it moving forward and not look back. So a moon in Scorpio in preparation for the moon in Scorpio, I think it comes up on the 15th of May. Scorpio digs real deep and it doesn't stop before everything that's wounded and unhealthy is brought to the surface for the grand finale, which is the re the release and transformation. This process of purging really doesn't feel good, but the, it doesn't feel good. It's not going to feel good for you. Possibly some, you may feel like, okay, you know, I mean, when you're looking at, when you're looking at it from an expanded view, you may say, you know, let me see, because we're talking about legacy and there's kids here. You may say for the kids purpose, I don't feel good that I have to make a decision, but at the same time, you're going to feel like a huge weight has been lifted after you purge, okay? And kids could be adult, could be little kids, whomever, right? If there are kids involved, if there are not kids involved or there's other people involved, it, you may feel like I wasted my time. But remember, it's source's time. So it's really, it's, it's, you had to learn a lesson. I mean, however you decide to look at it, your heart was in the right place. But again, it got broken, got hurt, just deeply disappointed. Source is saying to you, move on. Here we have the strength card, the king of swords, the six of pentacles, eight of cups, ten of swords, and also the eight of swords. So again, source is reminding you, keep your pride at bay. Keep your pride at bay. Keep your pride at bay. Keep it at bay. You know, any arrogance, any, you know, keep this, any, you know, letting your lion roar. Source is saying, mm-mm. No, nope, it, it's not going to help. So again, I do see you being victorious at that. Like using this water, this is cancer, to calm down that fire, to calm down that animal, you know, that energies went try to bring out. Here we have the Ten of Swords. So for some of you all, on your journey to your legacy... This is why some of you all exes are trying to resurface is because a lot of them stood around and watched people run smear campaigns and assassinate your character. And they did absolutely nothing. They watched their their mom or dad in law, you know, their parents rip you to shreds. They stood around and did absolutely nothing. Right. Some of them, you know, acted like they didn't have a pulse when it came to protecting your energy. Some of your friends will try to resurface. When they knew people were talking about you, they didn't stand up and say anything about, that's not what I know about Virgo. You're like, all of this going on, people talking about you behind your back and people are standing around acting like they didn't know what, just like this person right here, standing around acting like they didn't, they didn't rush to your help, to your aid. They didn't try to offer you anything, nothing, right? So you building your legacy wealth, you're like, I'm leaving all of that behind, all of it. I forgive you, but I'm moving to be, I'm moving on. Here we have the eight of swords. Some of them wish that you could be like this and you may have picked up on that, you know, but source is saying to you, no, this is, this is, it's not just in your mind. It's self-sabotage to give them that much airtime, that much power. Source is like, you've already been victorious over your emotions. You're being rewarded, you know, to not vibrate low on that frequency. Here we have the six of pentacles, eight of cups and the king of swords. We got the king and queen of swords. So now you're extremely bright and extremely intelligent. Your control of you have control over your thoughts. You're no longer looking for people's approval. Not anymore. Not like you were before. You were looking for people's approval, hoping that, you know, they would say you were smart enough or that you were this enough or that enough or whatever. You're not looking for approval. So you got an approval from source for your for an additional business for somebody for an additional stream of income. All you need to do is stay in your light. Walk as far, get as far away from energies that are draining. That's all you have to do. And that, like I said, it sounds simple when I say that's all you have to do. But 
you know, how, how many times do you keep getting burned by the same energies that's standing around acting like they didn't hear anything, they didn't see anything, they didn't know anything, you know, and, and watch you depressed, sad, broke down, hurt, you know, and they're sitting back with a Cheshire cat grin on their face. So again, bottom line is congratulations to you all Virgos for moving forward. Um, here we have the Ace of Wands, we have the Five of Wands, we have the Hierophant card, the Fold card, the Tower card, and also the World card. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like I said, the Tower card. See, things are not going very well for somebody, some, some people, not just one somebody, but some people want back in. They want to have the same level of access to you. And... Um, but don't get it twisted. The Tower card is attached to Mars, which is the energy planet. It's the planet of... Um, um, it's the planet of um, assertion and action. So source is saying take action to physically get as far away from those energies because they will burn you out. They will burn through. They, they will burn you up to a point because they want to get into some kind of verbal sparring match with you. Give it no air whatsoever. Absolutely no air. Here we have the full card. And see, in the past, you you felt foolish because, okay, here, they got me again. They, 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 they did something again. They want to take a picture with me. They want to talk to me. They want to be in my face. And I fell for it again. This time I won't. Okay. Here we have the Hierophant card, right? Yep. Somebody is battling their demons hard. Whatever those demons are, the demons could be, you know, fear in their own life of their own future. It could be some kind of an addiction. It could be um, and fear breeds, I mean, that, those, in, their demons just breed all kinds of stuff. There's so many different types of demons, but source is saying, make a decision to go ahead and close something out airtight, liberate yourselves, free yourselves from all of that stuff. Your third eye is already open. You know exactly who it is. You know, we have the ace of wands. We also have the page of wands. So don't let another incident happen where you get burned, where, where source is already telling you ahead of time that something has enough some things that have already happened where, again, you know, people are battling their demons. Five of Wands came out twice. This could be two people or two situations since we have, like, victory over this. Two situations that's battling their demons big time. Like I said before, if you have to interact, I mean, if you absolutely have to interact, like, you know, you have to see somebody in an event or whatever, and it's common, you know, there's, you have somebody in common or whatever, you can keep it cordial and, and head, scurry on to the other side of the room. Just, just just make your way as far away from the energy as possible. You're not trying to feed the energy. You're not trying to take pictures with that. Nothing. Because somebody is really battling their demons. And that energy will sit in your soil. Be careful. That energy will sit in your soil, Virgo. It'll sit in your soil. It'll sit in your soil. Uh, let's see what else we got going on here. Make sure we got everything. Okay. Here's some more cards here. Yeah. So like I said, you're not being vindictive. You've just, like I said, you, you've been burned enough. You know, you, your heart was in the right place. You tried a gazillion times with certain energies. And I'm speaking specifically about, um, you know, somebody that, that somebody could have been married to or thought about being married to or whatever, trying to resurface and, and sources saying, mm -mm, it's a no, it's going to have to be a complete no, like just no period, not no pause. Well, maybe I'm taking the high road. If you were really taking the high road, you would see what their plan is. Here we have the, the queen of swords, the queen of cups, the four of, uh, four of cups, the hermit card, the seven of wands, and also the knight of pentacles. If it's anybody else that you feel like, okay, I'm not ready to completely cut them off out of my life. You know, say it's family member, say it's, you know, whomever. Then you're going to have to, like I said, put them on probationary period so that they don't get comfortable with being disrespectful or the, the you know, that kind of stuff. Queen of, and the reason I say that is because, again, it could be two energies, you know, that was, was hurtful. Here we had the three of swords came out twice. Two energies that were, you know, possibly disrespectful, say something or whatever the case may be. Doesn't matter whether it was at work or in your personal life. Bottom line, source is saying you can still have compassion and still, you know, put people back through a vetting process if you're not completely ready to cut people off. So they feel like, oh, well, you still holding on to a grudge? No. Every single time you disrespect me, new set of rules. You get less and less access, right? But for somebody that somebody was married to, they're going through a a um 
a um a, a tower moment it's a, it's a lot of people that's going through karma a lot of people are going through tower moments right now but here we have the knight of pentacles work may be the thing that saves you meaning that continuing to work hard you all are the i analyze sign continue working hard but there's some people who are going through some things here's the, her card right here hermit card remember we had that last full moon and not not this full moon for this cycle but before the, the last cycle we had a full moon in virgo so it's just like source reminded every everybody who has virgo in their chart or that moon in virgo reminded everybody that you're good without um you're rooted and grounded but you're good without other people's drama you're not looking for your whole and you're complete without other people in their drama trying to resurface in your life here we have the four of cups so again source is saying to you you don't need to sit around and ruminate over something because somebody is trying to resurface or come back around and they're starting to see that things are working out well for you they know you were smart but they were trying to make you feel at some point that you weren't smart enough whatever but you know you are here we have the seven of wands and so again this is you defending your decision to move on from something from two situations in particular without coming across as defensive because you know that people are battling their demons so we have the seven of wands the five of wands came out twice we had the page of wands and ace of wands so again you could have a new flame in your life a new flame could be new inspiration doesn't always mean love interest a new flame could be like a new business proposition somebody's trying to you know approach you you know in other words somebody tried to make you seem like you weren't smart enough for whatever like like you were a puppet and that's that's not the case at all obviously obviously that's not the case here are the questions here are the questions for you first question is as we get closer and closer to this moon in scorpio first question is while you're doing this thinking about purging process what are the stories of your ancestors comma your past lives second question is where do you need to go to heal your connection with your roots third question is do you feel truly empowered in your relationships and career fourth question is is there a deep trauma you need to look at heal and release during this moon and then last but not least is who are the people meaning the therapist healers and so on who could help you to dive deeper those are your questions right let's get ready to close this out virgo but you're going to be just fine like i said before i see you being victorious over your emotions you know like this is deeper than taking the high road this is a person who has really had time to look at a pattern of behavior and see okay Either you have no access to my universe or, and also I think who I also left out to is certain family members will no longer have access to your universe, right? So when I say family members, I don't mean necessarily, I mean like outside of, we're not talking about adult kids. We're talking about like, um, for some of you all, it could be parents. For some of you all, it could be um for some of you all, it could be siblings. For some of you all, it could be cousins or aunts or uncles. Like certain people are in your family are not going to have access to you anymore. And then other people will realize, okay, wow, people are skating on thin ice. I must be skating on thin ice because everybody is under review. And that's you sitting on your throne, queen of swords. So you're not playing around. You're like, mm-mm. You know, all the people that stood around and, and let people attack me and they, you didn't say anything to defend my character and even knowing that my heart was in the right place. Okay. Here we have uh, luck is on your side. Yep. Luck is on your side. Luck is on your side. Luck is on your side. So somebody will definitely feel blessed. You all probably already feel blessed and highly favored, but whether you believe in luck or not, but you know, like I said, things are working out in your favor. Let me just put it that way. So... People are definitely having a tower moment, having some kind of an awakening. Um, all of a sudden, you know, like I said before, don't even engage it because even if you were to tell them what they did, like, because what's coming up real strong is somebody's ex. Um, even if you were to tell them what you needed from them, it could be ex-husband or ex-wife, but somebody's ex, even if you were to tell them what you needed from them, they would make it more of a blame game. It's so narcissistic. It's crazy. They would make it more of a blame game than I truly am sorry that I hurt you. I should have done X, Y, and Z. Like they have no real intentions of, of fixing that part. All they just, they just want to get their point across. And it's just, like I said, don't even entertain it. Here we have manifestation. 
So 23, sometimes they come off, I mean, sometimes they come as a breeze upon your fingertips. At other times, they dwell in the depths of your soul. It's a dance between you and spirit as the magic unfolds. So you got a lot of ancestors around you. You got a lot of ancestors around you trying to help you through this entire process. Like I said before, Virgos, you're going to be just fine. Um, yeah, you're going to be just fine. You're going to be just fine. Fine, just fine, just fine, just fine. Sometimes exes don't act right until there's a new person in, involved. Now all of a sudden, you know, it's still the, the tit for tat. They're not ready to grow up. They're not ready to accept their role in the demise of something. So, you know, don't even entertain it. Don't give it any energy whatsoever because that's in your ear gate and your eye gate. In any energy you give it, now you've just contaminated your own ear gate and eye gate. Here we have divine love. So when you offer everything to the divine with detachment, you begin a love affair with spirit. Yep. Who has time for the blame game? You're already working on yourself, healing from things, and people are still just in just delusional. Let's see what else we got going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's um let's see what your next move is. Let's see what your next move is. Okay, this card wants to sit here. Stand still. Not yet. So stand still. Source was going to, because you're a magnetic sign, source will, source will bring the information to you. Source will bring the information to you. But I think it's a lot for somebody to think about when you feel like that people, they, they wanted to see you depressed, sad, all the people that were connected to them, even the people who sat back idly. Even, there could have been some people that could have called you and said, guess who I got a phone call from, you know, or they could have, they could have helped you along your journey. Instead, they were playing in the rain, their games too, just messy drama. People who sit around and listen to low vibrating conversation and just like, oh my God, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. What? I didn't know that either. Mm -mm. Don't entertain none of it because you, you'll be next. You will be next. Number four, I am stable. That's, that's the conversation. You were unstable. You were this. You're crazy. You're this. All of that, like I said, don't entertain any of it. Here we have, you bring stability and rationality to any situation. You are the rock and your hard work and perseverance make you a dependable friend, partner, and colleague. That's right. And they know it. They're so narcissistic, whoever they are, you know, they're so narcissistic. They'll even tell you that they see some growth in you as if you're looking for them. To... <laughs> just pure, just nuts. Like, like it's if you need them to validate, anyway, like I said, you're not who you used to be. You're not looking for people's, you know, approval. Anyway, here we have forgiveness. That's right. Forgive them. Just forgive them. Just drop off that bag of heaviness. Forgive them. I forgive myself. I am healing from past trauma. I release all guilt. I forgive hurt done by others. I accept that I cannot change the past. Anger does not control my mind. I release all sadness. I am grateful for every experience. I am stronger because of my challenges. Yeah, that's what I have for you, Virgos. Like I said, whoever is under review in your life right now, if if you sit down and you really think about it and you say, okay, it's time for me to purge. As we get closer and closer to this full moon in Scorpio, if they don't make the cut, guess what? They don't make the cut. Your feelings are valid. You don't need to explain to them anything. Because like I said before, and this is the warning for somebody even if you were to try to explain to them what they did to leave you feeling uncovered like this while people were running smear campaigns, laughing at you, talking about you, people that you love while you were just deeply depressed, didn't want to get out of the bed, they will come back with an even bigger sword and make it worse. It's like reopening a wound. So you work so hard to heal yourself, just cut them out of your life altogether. That's who I have for you. I mean, that's what I have for you. I will see you all on Motivational Monday. Bye.